When you purchase the kit version of the case, it comes with three components. The top, the bottom, and the wireless charging insert. Here you can see the two leads that are going to need to be soldered to your Riley link to enable wireless charging. To solder the wireless charging coil to your Riley link, switch off the Riley link and unplug the battery. Now, you're going to see that there's two alternative power paths on the surface of the Riley link labeled Alt Power. The upper one is the, where the positive lead is going to go, and the bottom one is where the negative lead is going to go. But we're going to solder it to the back of the Riley link board. So you're going to lay out your Riley link board like this, and you're going to turn your charge coil upside down like this, so that the positive lead is aimed towards the top of the board, and the negative lead is aimed towards the bottom of the board. For me, since I'm righty, I'm going to turn it around to make it easier for me. And we're going. I'm going to solder the black lead first to this pad, and then the red lead second to this pad. So get out your soldering iron, tin the tip a little bit, and tin the pads, both pads. Then, first start with the black. There you go. And then the red. And that's it. Now your wireless charging coil is attached to the Riley link. Okay, so once you've soldered the um, wireless charging coil to your Riley link board, we're going to make a little sandwich out of the wireless charging coil, the battery, and the Riley link board. I would highly recommend using some Scotch brand 3M double sided tape, um, it's like the office kind, basically something that's um, uh, strong enough to sort of hold things together, but not so strong that you can't take it apart. Um, and place one piece of tape here and one on the back of the Riley link board so that it sort of holds everything together in this module. So what you're gonna do is take your battery and you're gonna place it in the center of the wireless charging coil insert, making sure that the battery lead is facing to the right when it's uh, facing up like this and bias it down, uh, placing it onto those, uh, these, these little uh, supports, okay, on those four little supports and centered um, on the charging coil insert and then just press it down onto your tape, okay? Now, I'm gonna flip over and you see that these wires are coming out of the wireless charging insert. You're gonna bias them over to the side and wrap it around the battery like that. See? And then we're going to align the Riley link centered and sitting on those little um, board um, feet, those four feet, and then we're going to press that down onto your double-sided tape as well. So now you can see that the wires are wrapped around the side of the battery and enter into uh, the solder points on the Riley link. Now we're pretty much ready to plug in the battery and turn it on, test it. So you're going to make sure that your Riley link is off and make sure that the little tab on the battery um, is facing up, that little um, positive feature, because it's gonna plug in and mate with that negative feature on the board. So you're gonna rotate this around. This can be a little tricky. And push it in, make sure it's fully seated. You can see it's all the way in there now. Can turn it on, there you go, and then we can quickly test it on the wireless charging coil to make sure that it works. There you go. So now that you've got this little sandwich, you can place it into your bottom case. Going to slide it in like this, making sure that the wireless charging coil 
is in contact with the back of the case. And you can see on the side here, there's a little feature inside the case that keeps the, the insert from bouncing forward. So you wanna make sure that's behind. See, it won't actually go in or it'll guide itself in eventually if you push it all the way down. So you want that home to be seated, okay? And when you know that it's all the way in, when the top edge of that wireless charging insert is flush with the top edge of the case. Then you're gonna place your top on. And as mentioned, you're gonna hold it closed for 10 seconds without covering the barometric vent so that the air can release. And done. Now, test again. There you go. Now go to the loop docs to learn how to pair this uh, Riley link with your um, phone and get looping.